Hey guys, I'm a big believer in modular storage and tool organization. You know, it, it saves time and it's important as the tools that are used to get the job done. A lot of contractors, they don't consider the time wasted looking for tools or more importantly, the accessories that go with the tools in their trucks or maybe their vans. As contractors, we need to think about tool storage and organization as a system, but also as an investment. So last year, I installed and reviewed the Bot Smart Van racking and storage system, and I put it in my Sprinter van. A year later, we're still enjoying that, and um, I just bought this ProMaster. So I outfitted it with the exact same system because I like it. Let me, um, let me show you why. Let's talk about why I like it. First of all, it's, it's a DIY system. There's no drilling required. You design your system online and they give you the parts you need to bolt to your existing frame. It's lighter, more compact. It takes up way less room than competitor shelving or even homemade plywood shelves. It's all metal frames are strong and they're crash tested. They're robust crash tested. The organization of the system itself is very flexible. And by flexible, I mean that I can move around, re relocate boxes, change out things, and, and kind of plug and play. Also, the smaller size boxes, the Tano's system, um, Sustainer 3 boxes, allow me or uh, uh, force me to kind of focus about being more compact and more, um, more organized because they're a little bit smaller than what I'm used to. And so I had to really think about what I needed and what could be stored in the, in the barn or the shop. And lastly, the system is eye-catching. It looks neat, organized, and professional to my clients. And that's important to me. So, Bot SmartVan is a German company. It's now available here in the US. They have a headquarters in Indiana. Uh, they design and manufacture a wide range of storage and mobile working options. And you can design your own custom system based on your vehicle with their online configurator on their website. And then they help you, we'll walk you through it. Uh, they also recently got into making van partitions like the one I have behind me and partition wall systems. Something I'd like to learn a little bit more about because that's kind of a dead space area for me. So look, if you haven't taken the time to analyze your workflow and, and look to see if you're efficient with your tool storage or not, you really should. All right, we moved into the shop here. It's better lighting and sound. It's a real easy installation. And what I want to talk about is the shelf rack system. It's fully customizable and it comes with very vehicle specific mounting brackets. It's designed 100% to be a DIY project. It does not require you to drill into the vehicle frame or use plus nuts or any of that kind of stuff. This no drill mounting means that you're not causing, you're causing zero damage to your vehicle. Now, once the frame and the rack frame is installed, you simply mount the drawers or toolbox shelf rails or whatever you desire. They've got all kinds of different configurations and accessories at your lengths and depths or however you're going to store things. The shelving system is compatible with their Bot Sustainer 3 toolboxes, but it also has, like I said, shelves and drawers and other things that you can install if you choose to go that route. Now, typically the first month or so after I mount the Bot Smart Fan system, I find myself moving things around to suit my workflow. For example, I placed many of my most used tools right at the rear door of, the, of my van so that I could just grab and go without having to step up and into the van. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I wanted to use the Bot Smart Van Sustainer boxes because having a matching system, it's just real sleek and professional looking. Final product often gets verbal responses like, wow, or that's real clean looking compliments from people that see it, the lumber yard or clients. And that kind of comment from folks it can simply be translated into this one statement. I care about my tools as much as the work that I do. And you're in good hands, right? So that I think, I do think people do believe that. The Bot Smart Fan racking system, the anchors, components, all the parts of the system have been crash tested. And it complies with regulation number 17 of the Economic Commission for Europe of the United Nations. Now, if you go online, there's some really cool and disturbing videos on YouTube showing the results of crash tests and van racking. And probably the most disturbing one that I saw actually propelled uh, non-bot smart van racking and into the driver's compartment and hit the windshield. Uh, not a good thing. Very scary. Uh, I, want, I want a system that's going to stay put when I hit those brakes or I get hit. So think about something that's crash tested. 
I want to talk about labeling. It seems silly, but labeling my drawers and boxes have allowed my crew and I faster access to the tools and supplies that we have in our vans. I'd love to know how much time is saved over a year because we no longer have to open and close to investigate 10 different drawers to find one item. Uh, I just, I use a label maker and I make labels pretty much for the, uh, the bought smart van drawers, boxes, and shelves. Effectively, I've created a 100% labeled van tool storage system. Now, as far as transporting the tools, most projects, I end up bringing the entire toolbox in if I have a box. Um, or I use that four-wheel um, dolly. The dolly's great for rolling a, a tower of tools clicked together around. Um, it works really good indoors. It's not really designed for outdoors. Um, and I use a tote bag for loose tools that I might take out of a drawer or something like that. But for the most part, I'll grab a toolbox. If they're loose tools, put them in a bag. I just grab and go. All right, let's talk about uh, my charging station. So I built, um, I pretty much installed the Shoreline plug on the side of my, the rear, um, driver's side external wall of my van and the plug feeds an internal power strip that allows me basically to power and charge my batteries at night uh, it also allows me to keep a warming box in my truck in the winter and that that box is a insulated box with a light bulb and a thermostat in it, it prevents caulking and glues from freezing now bot smart van offers an accessory panel they call a perfo panel it basically looks like this and it mounts to the, the side ends of the of the racking but I need something bigger than that because I want to mount a bunch of charges to this. So the peripheral panel is just too small and I'd love to see Bot come out with a different version of this. It was rectangular and longer. But they do make these peripheral panels that mount inside the racks where the shelving go. So um, I got some of those and I decided to modify them. I just cut the, the ears off them and I mounted them to the peripheral panel with through bolts. And I basically modified the system to allow me a larger surface to mount my battery charges and also um, some uh, stealth mount battery clips so I can store batteries as well. And again, uh, that allows me just to reach in and grab a battery without having to get into the van. Now on that side door of mine, I'm going to put some, I put some peripheral panels there as well. And there I'll probably mount maybe my track saw track or maybe some additional uh, batteries, or maybe I'll just put some hooks and, you know, hang my tool vest or, or something like that. But the peripheral panel and, and certainly a larger uh, surface area is going to be great for allowing me to mount things and, and create a little charging system. Guys, I want to be really clear about one thing here is that Bot Smart Fan does not approve of field modifications like this, uh, mostly because it's just not crash certified tested. It's they need to go through their testing to certify this stuff. Um, I do know they're looking into peripheral panels for the back that are bigger for mounting charges because we've talked about it. It's, it's not a bad idea for the U.S. market. Um, cost. So how much does the Bot Smart Fan system cost? The one. This is probably one of the most asked questions that I get, which makes sense, right? When people see the system. If you're going to invest in a van racking system, it's crucial that you understand what you're getting for your money, right? What what the costs are, what's extra, um, you know, ongoing costs or savings might look like, organization costs. But the average cost of a system like my van is probably around four or $5,000, depending on what you purchase. And remember, it's 100% customizable and flexible. You can get different things. But you certainly get what you're paying for, which is a smartly, well-designed tool storage system. And guys, it's a system that simply offers protection, storage, uh, transportation of your tools and accessories, which is going to result in you spending more time working and less time searching. That's probably the bottom line right there. Uh, my final thoughts on this whole thing is the system is easy to install. It goes together like an erector set for adults, right? So. I guess I felt good knowing that, say, I felt safer knowing that it was um, crash tested versus, you know, using plywood with self tappers and, and through bolts. And because those boxes, those sustainer three boxes are smaller, it's forced me to reevaluate and ask myself, what do I really need in my van and what can I store in the shed of the shop? And additionally, the drawers, um, I really like the drawers. I probably should have done more of them. They allow me to create kind of accessory support storage with my tools. And what I mean by that, a good example of that is one rack is all drawers and I have things like fin my finish nails, pin nailers, things like that stowed inside. In the drawer with it is 
uh, the battery, the charger, all of the different size fasteners I, I needed. So that eliminates the, me having to search somewhere else for the nails or the fasteners that I need for that specific tool. I placed the heavier boxes kind of low to the, uh, near the axle, low to the floor just for balance. Um, my least used tools I put in the front of the van because I think I'm going to put some step ladders there and, and they'll probably be strapped to that and block that because um, they're access to lease. I, I don't really mind blocking them. And I put a lot of thought into my placement of things. So like I said, that right rear of the van, that vertical row of toolboxes, that's where I reach for every single job, my go-to stuff. And um, I use those organizers that BotSmartFan has for accessories. And a good example of that is uh, my Sustainer 3 has two impacts in it and a few fastening accessories that I use the most, right? Maybe a box of fasteners, um, attachments. But in the organizer box is the lesser used related accessories, some of them so infrequent that you only need it when you need it. And you know what I mean by that. So I keep those in an accessory box in that organizer. Um, one thing that my guys and I noticed immediately was that we gained more center aisle space, which more than doubled the space we had. It's nice and wide now. And that makes moving around the van much easier. It allows us to carry bulky materials to a job site if needed or a bookcase if we build something. Um, look guys, um, in the remodeling construction world, it's busy, it's hectic arena, it's, it's full of equipment everywhere. Oftentimes, us contractors are just too darn busy to consider properly organizing and securing the valuable tools and equipment that we use all the time, but we should. So, you know, I did a little research and, and the research shows that the key to becoming better organized on the job site is using modular organizers and that organization is the key to be more productive. I thought that was pretty cool. And they also said that contractors use only 33% of their time working on a job site. I thought that was way low, but the rest of the time is spent on tasks like material runs, unplanned demands, interruptions, searching for tools and searching for parts, running errands, client meetings. You know, we can't control those unplanned interruptions, but we can choose a system to organize our tools better um, and try to avoid that searching and rummaging through stuff like the, the Muppet Chef, you know, throwing stuff around, looking for things. So if, if you're still following along, I'm guessing that you agree with me. It only makes sense to organize your tools and accessories and do it in such a way as to minimize the time to store, locate, and access, and probably as well as transport them to and from the job site. It certainly comes at a cost, but so does in any commercially purchased van rack and shelf system. So if you're in the trades and you're in the trades to create a profitable business, then you really need to consider stuff like this, like this racking system, as an investment. It's not like, oh, this costs too much money. No, it's an investment. It goes with a very expensive van. It, it shows professionalism, it's organization, and I think it's just the right thing to do if you're running a, a good, solid business. After all, time is money, so let's go get organized.